Pay attention, kiddos. This is the part where you explain to me exactly what it is I'm looking at. I am quite certain I gave you enough time. <laughs> Never mind. We can discuss your utter failure at a later date. I know that face. I used to see it on the rotten shits I met in the underground. Never thought I'd see it on you. They cheer up. Everything went just like you wanted. Do as your conscience dictates. But Aaron, listen. You are not inherently evil. Your ability to change doesn't make you a monster. That said, it could be the other way around. How are you supposed to know where to draw the line? Whether you lose control or freely give it up? Maybe it's the same. I've saved Aaron again and again. Watching more of my comrades die every time. I did that because I believed he was the best hope humanity had. And this, this is where that belief has gotten me. It's like I'm at the punchline of some awful joke. What the hell became of the hope we all looked towards? No. Take it in, holy man. These are the faces of human beings who've lost everything they ever had. You know what has to happen. Ervin gets the shot. You can't. You told me you'd use it on Armin. I'm going to revive the person who can save humanity. Third time. And his form's changed again. He's not even ten meters tall. And some of his body lacks muscle. Plus, Aaron's scrawny ass is hanging out. I can see that! Best grab a broom and get to work. All right, then. I'll take responsibility for him. Let the higher-ups know what's going on. Not that I implicitly trust him, of course. It's more a matter of me trusting myself to deal with him. Kill him if I have to. The bigwigs aren't likely to raise a stake. My record more than speaks for itself, I'm pretty sure. Good news, Jaeger. You're now officially a member of the Scouts. You want me to go after him with just ODM gear? He's standing in the middle of a field. I can't fight without a house or tree to hook on. You're wrong. There happens to be a line of objects at just the right height for your approach. Use his thralls to advance on scene. And assassinate the son of a bitch. Look, Aaron. We don't agree because our experience brings us to opposing views. That's life. At the end of the day, there's no reason to go against how you see it. The choice is yours. You can trust yourself. Or you can trust the people willing to put their lives on the line for you. I don't know which way is better. I never have. Should I act on my own instincts? Or put myself in the hands of my comrades and trust them? Either way, there's no guarantee. In the end, you choose what you choose. If afterwards your regrets are at a minimum, good for you. Without a thought, I'm... A killer. And now that your hands have been soaked in blood, the person you once were is gone for good. Why would you say that? And you shouldn't regret it for one second. Because if you'd chosen to keep your hands clean, Jean would be a corpse on a cart right now. Uh... What he thinks really isn't the issue. You either will, or you won't. That's the reality. Our comrades are breaking their backs, but without you, it's nothing. Failure isn't an option. I'll hurry. I won't make it in time. 
Come on, let's have some fun! You look desperate, Hairball. All you had to do was read your damn book. What gave you the idea that you could escape from me? If you really thought I'd hesitate to kill my comrades once you turned them, then you have no idea how many friends I've had to kill! Nope. Don't look like you've changed much at all, boy. Kenny! You dropped dozens of innocent families straight into hell on that mission of yours! Yeah, we did. Don't do it! Delusion's even worse. I'm going to kill you and ship your corpse back to Marley with a note about your little plot. Should spell the end for your grandparents. That said, if this secret plan of yours isn't bullshit, I can wait and chop you up once it's finished. I don't care much either way. <laughs> ah, hey, Beardy. <laughs> Amazing. You've gotten uglier somehow. You even smell worse, shitbag. Well, don't worry. I'm not gonna kill you. Not yet. I was thinking about Ervin. Considering the chance that he might be alive. But you couldn't have known that Flock would carry the commander here. There's no way you would have seen that coming. You aren't wrong, Aaron. But the fact remains he's here now. So I'll revive him. Just... Seems to me, we've taken one more step toward the truth. Wow, one whole step, huh? At this pace, we'll run out of people before we actually reach it. Not a good rate of return. I'm chopping him up no matter what Pixis says. We have 30 fully armed soldiers waiting in the trees up above. Even if Seek becomes the beast, there's no way he'll escape. That bearded piece of shit was our enemy after all. Now that we know that, he's just a hostage. And hostages don't need limbs. It took long enough. Ervin, I can finally make good on the promise I made you. There was meaning in your deaths. At last, I can prove it. That's true. Without you, the operation might fail. But if you bite the dust out there, we're really screwed. So just stay safe at your desk and keep using that head of yours. As far as I'm concerned, that's the last thing the Titans would want. And the best weapon that humanity's got. Perfect. I've spent all this time, all this energy. And the things I've been carving through like carrion were people. Hey, Levi! Where are you hiding all the Titans? Problem? You seem eager to be eaten alive, soldier. Being there, is that important? More than your legs? Yes. More than humanity's victory? Yes. Back on land too! <laughs> Someone's got a big mouth. You brats got taller. It's like you're sprouting up just to spite me. Not that village. And seeing as you murdered every person who lived there, you should learn the name, you bearded shit. Shit. Who the hell am I kidding? These kids are gonna drop like flies. Should have left them up there. They're coming up on our rocks. Right. 
That's enough. It's over. Tired of looking at you. Right here, Kenny. Been a while. I really thought you'd be dead by now. Well, with all the MPs you were butchering. But now you're great friends, huh? <sighs> yeah, well, adults do plenty of things kids like you can't understand. But hey, I do get to meet Aaron soon, don't I? There's no need to rush. We've prepared a nice little place for you to stay here. A beautiful hotel that you can relax at. There's more than one way to get at the truth. Granted, I may not be in top form at the moment, but it doesn't take much strength to squeeze a trigger. That said, I'm genuinely hoping I won't have to blow a hole in you to settle this. People who talk, talk after one. If they don't, ripping off more won't make a difference. I'm impressed. I didn't think highly of Pastor Nick. But whatever his faults, he stuck by his beliefs until the end. All that food and he's just giving it away? It's not as if he needs it all. Easier to control people when they're not starving. God damn it. It makes me sick. Nobody knows a thing about this world. Not us or anyone else. Thank you. Uh-huh. Then why don't you fluff us up a bit in the next article you write? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! They predicted our every damn movement! No, you're wrong. Our best option is for me to gamble it all on the plan that I came okay, up with. Okay, that's enough. Stop right there. Any more of those noble-ass excuses, and I'm gonna break both your damn legs. <laughs>